Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I've got for you what I read in September and I have totally failed at reading this month. I've only read two books and I feel disappointed in myself, truth be told, but I have been so ridiculously busy. The B&B has been busy, work has been busy, vlogging, vlogging has been busy and I just have not had time. And by the time I get into bed, all I do is like pass out and go to sleep so I don't have time to read. That's a bit of a shame and I am going to make sure that doesn't happen in October but we are going on holiday in October which I'm very very excited about so I will definitely be reading on holiday whilst the kids are in kids club and I have a rum and coke in my hand. That's the plan. Okay first book I read this month is The Girl in the Red Coat by Kate Hammer Hamer, and this is an amazing book. I really 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 enjoyed it. It follows the tale of a girl who goes missing and I don't want to give too much away but you see the kind of it's broken into two parts of the story so you've got the girl's point of view and the mother's point of view and it's just heartbreaking the thought of your child being taken from you and the way that they did it makes the child feel like her mother's in danger or not well and it's just awful the fact that the child goes so easily because they think their mum is not well and you can totally see how it could happen and I think there was like that element of oh my goodness this is so far-fetched but this could happen this could so easily happen so this was really really just had me hooked from the second I picked it up to the second I put it down and I took a day to read it it might have been a day and a half but certainly I finished it by the next day that I'd started reading because I just couldn't put it down so <laughs> that's a sign of a very very good book I would highly recommend this book um, I picked it up from my mum's house it was just on her shelf so I don't know how old it is I could check couldn't I let's check this is from oh 2015 it's not old at all definitely go and buy the girl in the red coat this is brilliant the second book I read is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I reviewed not that long ago, I'll leave it in the description bar, the first book, The Sky is Everywhere, which I really enjoyed. And this book was a little bit more difficult to get into. The first chapter was a bit like, Ugh, am I going to like this? But once I was into it, it was off. And the story, it's about two twins, two twins, obviously two twins. It's about twins and their story through life, through loss through relationships. Again, it's a young adult fiction and I've really enjoyed it. Again, I'm probably too old really for young adult fiction. I'm definitely not a young adult anymore. And I have really enjoyed it, so I would definitely recommend it. The way their lives change after a certain tragedy in their lives and how close they've been and how far apart they get is intriguing and intricate. And you can just sort of feel the feels. It's a feels book. Again, another very good book. I've been spoilt this month. So I've only read two, but I've read two very good books. Third thing I wanted to say, I know I also relatively recently read the book Room, and sorry about the lighting, the sun keeps coming in and out and in and out. Anyway, recently read the book Room, and the other day I noticed it was on Amazon Prime, so my husband and I watched the film, and the film is amazing. If you haven't seen the film, go and watch the film. It sticks relatively close to the book. They do change kind of a perspective in the second half, but it doesn't detract from the book at all in my mind. So definitely go and see it. Amazing film. You will cry though, so take tissues or have tissues when you watch the film. It's a sad one. Right, I'm sorry I haven't read more. I'm sorry I have failed you this month. <sighs> sorry. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, please subscribe. And I'm gonna ask one more time, if you would like to vote for me in the Mumsnet Blog Awards, I'm list shortlisted in the blogger category, which is in itself absolutely amazing. I'll leave a link below. I just need votes to get into the finals, which is the finalist out of three. And I would just love to be there. I've left videos before saying why, you, you all know I don't need to do that and probably you've all voted anyway so I don't need to keep saying it. Oh shut up now. Alright, I'm really sorry, I don't like having to do that. I'll see you again soon. Alright, bye.